This video is going to examine how to include shapes into a line type file. In the previous videos we looked at how to create simple line types and then complex line types with letters and numbers and now we're going to look at how to create a, a line type with complex shapes. So what I've done here is I've just drawn the line out so that we can have something to look at. Notice it's just a regular line here, a regular line here, and then a bunch of geometry in the middle to make it look like a little daisy. If I want to create a new line type, let's say for the sake of giving it a name, I'll call it daisy chain. The first step is to actually just draw the geometry and make the line look the way you want it to look. Now think about how you want your, your drawing to be when it's all done. <clears throat> my, my line type definition is going to start here at the beginning of this dash and then it's going to end right here at the beginning of the next dash. So my repeating pattern will be the line and then this flower, and then it just repeats over and over and over again until it's all done. So in order to make this look this way, the first step is to draw your geometry and get it situated exactly the way you want it. The next step is to create a shape file of the geometry that is nonlinear. So this is my nonlinear geometry I don't need to create a shape file of this line because it's going to work just the fine way, the way it is. But create your geometry and make it look the way you want it to look. And then come in and use uh, uh, create a shape of this geometry. To create the shape, you're going to go to Express Tools. Okay. And you're going to find the tool Make Shape, um, which is, I never can find it because I always just type it in. Um, okay, so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to say MKSHAPE for make shape. And so it initializes it and it's going to ask me to, you know, to name it. Now I need to save this. So I'm going to save it in the same place that I've been saving all of my other stuff. So in that line types folder, I'm going to call it Daisy. Okay. And it's going to make it a shape file all by itself. So I can say save. Then it asks me again for the name of the shape. And I'm just going to call it Daisy. Just give it the exact same name. And then the resolution. Now, the higher the number here, the bigger the file gets. But, you know, the lower number, the less it gets. 128 is okay, but I'm going to just bump that up to say 256 because I know that after doing this for a few times, it works pretty good. So I'm going to say my resolution is 100 or 256. I need a base point, which I'm going to make the center of this flower. And then it asks me to select the objects. So the only th objects that I want are the flower itself. I press enter. And so now I've made a shape um, of that of that object. Now this is not the shape. Okay, this is just the object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy uh, this right here, you know, so, you know, so that I can get that space again. So I'm going to put it over here like this. So now here's that same thing. But now what I need to do is I've made the shape. Now I need to insert the shape where it's going to go here. So in order to insert a shape, you use the command called shape, S-H-A-P-E, enter. And it asks me for the shape name, and it's called Daisy. So I'll I type in Daisy, and it knew where to look for it because I've already added the search path in my options dialog box. So notice that it looks pretty darn close to what's there. And I'm going to say I want it inserted mid between uh, that point there and that point there. And then my height will be one, rotation angle is zero. And so it gives it a nice, it's not perfectly round, but when you zoom out, it looks pretty good. So now what I've got is got a line and I've got a shape file that's one object rather than a bunch of different objects. And now that I've got that ready to go, I can use the make uh, the, the, the line type tool. So I can say, okay, the, the next tool I'm going to use is make line type, which is one of these um, <clears throat> Uh, it's one of these uh, tools up here and I just don't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. So there's make shape 
and make line type. So again, it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in that 20B, that same folder. It has to know where it is. And this is going to be called daisy chain. Okay, uh, there it is. Again, it asks me for the name of it down here. So I'm going to call it daisy chain. And it asks me for a description. I'm just going to put in a verbal description rather than trying to draw flowers. So a line with flowers is good enough. The start point for my definition, remember, it's going to start here. Okay. It's going to end here. And then it asks me for the objects. I want that right there as one object. And that right there is the next object. Press enter. And now it creates that line type daisy chain. And you can see here it, it loads it, doesn't it? So now if I just go to the line type command, you'll see that my new daisy chain line type is here. I can say set that current. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that my P line gen is turned on so that when I come in here now and I create a polyline, I can say, okay, I want a polyline, you know, to, to come like this. And then I'll turn it to an arc segment. And remember what happens with polyline gen is it keeps that distance the same everywhere. So I can make this, you know, look the way I want it to look, whatever. <clears throat> when I hit enter, it refigures all those spaces. So then I have this nice daisy chain flower look about it. And if I want to look at that file on its own and see what it did, well, how it created it, <clears throat> I'll go to documents, uh, 20B line types, and then I find that daisy chain, right click, and I'm just going to open it and look at it here. And you'll see that it does exactly what we thought it was going to do. Star daisy chain line with flowers. This is the information that I typed in at the command line. A is the alignment code. One and then up for a quarter and then this distance and then up for a quarter. And it knew that because of my insertion point on my daisy. Now here's the thing. Daisy is the shape file. Okay. And it, it knows how to look for it because I have a search path inside of my options dialog box. If I don't have that search path, it's not going to know where that is. It's not going to be able to find it. So you have to make sure that you have the search path in there to be able to find that. But once you do that, it's all good to go. You can create and load as many custom line types as you wish. So this concludes the videos on line types. Make sure you give it a try. Practice with it. Have some fun.